pretty, I'm pretty fell down. Don't die on us, okay? We're gonna try to rescue you, okay? He's scared. He okay. can't move out of that pot. If you put him in this pot, you shouldn't have put him in this pot. Because the ground's too soft for him to move. He doesn't know what to do. I hope he doesn't die of shock. Well, hopefully we, well, hopefully he'll be here when we come back. Alright. Stay here, little bird, okay? We'll be back. We got a little box that's coming in. Okay? We'll take out all the things in it and you can stay in it. We're on the bus today. We're to get the, uh, extra Japan crate that we got today. And apparently we're taking a different route to get back on Philly. So, yay. And we're gonna try to rescue that baby bird. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. Oh, Salvis! Yeah! Next up, pizza and karate! Yeah! I ain't had that long! Awesome! Alright, guys, so I went to the post office. Nothing was there. Apparently, my uh, carrier is a little dumb in the head. But I already sent the, I already picked up this package. It's the package that you already seen. So they didn't get the notice. I also got the notice for the delivery supervisor, so they can stop delivering things to my uh, landlord. I mean, that's kind of embarrassing. He's in the back assembling a box, so he wants to try to help that little bird. So. We're going to try to help a little bird when we get back. Wish us luck. But now we got to wait for the bus. You like waiting for buses? Mm. Not a bad looking little box. No, it's not. But yeah, so, I'm sorry Japan Crate if you did send me another box or not. But, mail carriers, learn that I picked up the package. Okay, stop saying that is, you're going to return the sender when there's nothing to return. Okay? I don't want to deal with Japan Crate anymore, guys, okay? <laughs> Once was enough. Careful. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh. Is he safe? Okay. He's in there. <laughs> uh. Can you walk around? Don't poke him. He's oh, scared. Remember what you're supposed to do. Let's be the other hand. Let's go. Hmm? Let's be the other hand. Now put him up in here. See if he likes it. You, you can go in. If you like it. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Poop on the side if you like it. Whoa. Huh? He pooped. He likes it. <laughs> he likes it. That's how we were told. If he poops on the side, he likes it. Really? Yeah. If he poops on the side of his nest, he likes it. He likes it. He found him a little nest. This sounds weird, but we're looking up the diet for the baby bird, and it says eggs. Hard boiled eggs. That's a little redundant, don't you think? <laughs> Just a little bit. That's what I say. I, I kind of don't want to be. I think it's more because it keeps it together. So, because you know, like how you can form shit out of probably the hard boiled eggs? It's probably what keeps it together. Mm -hmm. That's probably the only reason why. But still. 
Would you feed your baby bird a baby bird? A dead baby bird? <laughs> I want it. Stop farting! Nasty! The supposed water ball, we don't have like jar lids or anything to things unless we have to um open something and we really don't want to open anything right now. And none of my Tupperware computers, some of them are all new, they're rubber made, and I really don't want to use those. Mm. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. There we go. I don't think he's going to drink much of that. You know what I mean? Mm. It smells like tea. Well, I'm going to rinse it out anyways. Alright. There we go. Never mind. We're going to go do that one. Mm, easier route. Or a safer route. Yep. Well, we're taking him out of this box now because he's starting to fly, jump in his head. So, we're going to give him a little bit more freedom in this one. This is just one of those pool bins that they have. I guess that's what they're called. I don't know. What you put in your cubby hole or whatever. And we're just making a little nest out of it. We should be able to fly out of it, hopefully. We're hoping. So, it's just, um, newspaper. I know we're not supposed to use to move items and stuff like that. But we cover it with, uh, what was it? Napkins. Uh, napkins. And he finds it very comfortable, actually. And how he does it, he poos on the what? He poos on where he is if he's comfortable. So. This is serious what he's doing. So this is how you buy a build a nest. And we're hoping he doesn't try to fly out of this one. Well, hop. Actually, he's a hopper. I should just call him Hopper instead of no. Hermy. Why? Is that because it's a cricket's name? It's a grasshopper's name? And a fucking, um... A uh, fucking target. Oh uh, no. Uh, he ripped up a uh, Mila Kunis. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be burped at Mila Kunis. You feel proud of yourself? I'm going to put his water dish in. He's still adjusting, remember? Yeah. I mean, we can put the water dish in if you need to. But still. And comment down. And honestly, calm down, comment down below ASAP. If we're doing something wrong, we do have um, kitty food soaking for him right here. It's been almost an hour for him. We tried giving it to him, but because he's there, we read that birds that are kind of feathered are kind of stubborn because of what the parents give. So we just lightly rub against his beak with a toothpick or um, tweezers, and, you know, plastic tweezers, and give it to him. Or, but he's not taking it yet, so we're hoping eventually he will once he comes down, because he's still trying to get everything acclimated, and we know that. Tomorrow we're going to put him in a bigger place at his place, though, right? Yep. It's probably about 10 gallons, if not a little bit. It's an aquarium. Maybe, maybe like a 15 gallon. It's an aquarium that we're going to put him in, but he's um, more safer there, if that makes sense. The only thing we are kind of worried about, because he is trying to fly, is that he might hit the wall. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Make it a little like that. A little scrunchy. It don't have to be, you know, like a bed. You don't have to tuck the corners in. Okay? No, I'm going to. But well, you don't need to. I'm going to kind of tear some up. And yeah. I mean, yes, this is such a waste of paper, but we are saving a life, so, as best as we can. Like I said, comment down below, comment down below, if you guys know how to raise a baby bird. We well, would like, like to give us some pointers or like something. Like to give us some pointers. Don't tell us we're doing something wrong. Don't, our, the don't biggest, bash us. Don't bash us. We are trying to do what we do. We have been doing research all day today. Um, also, please put down, you know... Also, please don't tell us that we're doing it wrong and we're going to kill it because... Just give us advice. Don't We'd rather it. have advice more than, oh, we're going to kill it. Especially if you say, we removed it, you should have put it back in the nest, 
or or the mother's going to kill it if we put it back in the nest because of the scent. Do you realize birds don't have a scent, like really much of a scent gland? They do, but they don't. So they can't smell our, they can't smell us. Guys, I hope you know this. So are you tearing this up or? One more, one more down the middle. Oh my god, this is like the fifth napkin, by the way. And I'm going to tear these up. So yes, any advice, anything at all. Just don't be... Don't be mean about us. And if we have to, we will give it to a rehabilitation center for the bird. If it has to come down to it. But we are trying to make this work. Give us a... Please give us advice, but don't yeah. be... Give us advice, but don't be a jerk about it. Yeah. Was, yeah please yeah. and thank you. And then baby Hermie. Yeah, you would not leave... Uh, it's like Sam for like the longest time he was afraid I was going to poo in it. Come on. Do your little duty. Yep. So tiny. And look, he gets them sprawling out his wings and everything. Once he gets more alchemy, he keeps on hopping. Come on, Zoom. Okay. That didn't help it. I don't like focusing this camera. I'm try going like in, like out a little bit. There we go. Yeah. 